Okay, so here's a little toy I've been playing with lately. Um, it's called a uh, Lilygo T Dongle S3 S3, and it has a ESP32 S3 in there. Um, this is a little device over here, and um, yeah, it's just a little stick, a USB stick, as you can see, um, that you can uh, insert into a USB port. Has a little LED or LCD display over here. Has some um, ports over here. You can put a plug into and uh, drive some GPI opens and battery and stuff. And it has one button, a reset button. And it also has this little uh, SD card slot over here. Although I haven't been able to uh, really play with that or make that work. But yeah, cool little device. Um, so I did a little project with this. And I want to show you that uh, little project with this. Um, you know, it's about 30 bucks for this. But to me, you know, this is a full-blown computer with a screen on a stick, you know, this size, the size of my thumb, a thumb drive, <laughs> makes sense now. But in any case, there it is. And, um, you know, um, let's see what I, what I did with this. Um, I think it's uh, pretty neat. So yeah, this is my computer and it has a um, little USB port on the side of here. So I'm going to just uh, on, on the side of a screen. Where is it? Um, I'm going to plug it in there. And you can see that it comes up and uh, gives us some information on the little screen over there. And there we go. That's what it's displaying on the screen. A red background with a API colon 112. And what that is, it is the amount of API calls I've received to one of my pet project APIs, Go Find Dogs. Um, I'll show that to you quickly. Okay, so here is my uh, Go Find Dogs website. That um, that that little uh, um, you know sticker showing. Um, you know what it basically does is I can search for adopted dogs here. You know in the background this calls. Pet finder and rescue groups, and you know, that's a video for another day. But uh, basically, I can uh, put in some uh, criteria over here, hit the search button, and it returns a uh, you know, list of adoptable dogs in this zip code. So, if I every time I do a search, um, the little uh, um, stick, a USB stick display is going to update and let me show you that now. So as you can see the count is now 113. It's uh, got one more um, you know it, uh, the value is increased. So uh, let me show you how I've done that. So yeah the, here is uh, the Lilygo, uh, Lilygo's um, GitHub page, and you can see the T3 dongle over here. This is it. Um, you know, there's a little stick with the LCD screen. It's got some eye opens. It's got a card, TF card, like I showed you, and um, pretty neat. It's it's a whole little computer uh, by itself, and you can buy it at Lilygo or Amazon. Or I think I got mine on Amazon. But in any case. Um, I uh, wanted to do this the easy way, so I, I you know, and I uh, installed um, uh, MicroPython. So um, as a total idiot, of course, I flashed it with some other firmware and tried doing stuff and then realized, oh no, the firmware, actually the real firmware contains um, a, a MicroPython already. So I came back here and I used this ESP tool on a Windows PC and there's the firmware.bin um, and um, it actually flashed it and um, I used this MicroPython uh, to actually uh, 
to to um, rec uh, uh, you know um, hit uh, the uh, um, to flash and to to write a little application. So pretty cool. Um, there's some samples over here, but um, so um, and then I also um, picked up a uh, a display, and this is this ST7735 display that it has. Okay, and then uh, the two files that I did put onto that uh, SD card was um, if, um, this font driver, which I found over here, um, and it's a VGA1 underscore bold underscore 16 by 32, not Python, that's a, uh, a uh, VGA file, um, you know, or a, a, a font, sorry, a uh, bitmap font. So I put that on there, uh, onto a cart, and then I put another file called the boot.py file. Okay, and so uh, I uh, put this uh, boot.ini, ah, boot.py file, boot.py, I put that on the cart and uh, the font, that py file from the font, um, on the card, and then I wrote this little application. Um, if you have a boot.ion, a boot.py file on the, the, the little device, if it starts up, that's the first application that it runs. Seems like that's how it works. So it runs this little application whenever it starts up. And all that this does is <coughs> I'm importing <coughs> time and network, and then there's a screen driver, the SD. There's a tier, and all of these things I understand is already part of the firmware installed. I installed the, the VGA um, uh, font. Um, then I just have some variables to my Wi-Fi and the API that I want to call. And I use an API key. That's how that API is secured. But all it really does is, is a little piece that shows more about um, you know, the um, how to write onto the screen. And it just says, you know, color red and text and what text you want to write there. Then um, I have a little piece here that uh, um, um, actually does the Wi-Fi. So um, I, I think if the application starts, it goes to main. So it's going to reset and fill the screen with a red and then it's going to try and connect to the Wi-Fi. So um, connecting to the Wi-Fi, <clears throat> it's going to write connecting to the Wi-Fi on the screen, and it's going to try and connect to it. And I think I have a retry of 20 times over here, and it sl sleeps two seconds. So um, if it doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi using the uh, uh, you know this SID and uh, password, then it's uh, going to fail. Um, and write file. Otherwise, it's going to connect. And then the next thing the little application does is um, it tries to uh, call um, the API count function. Um, so the API count function is really just setting a header, that's my API key, then calling that API. Um, if uh, it uh, doesn't work, then it returns an error, of course, but if it comes with a response of 200, it's going to come back and um, uh, return the data. And the data really is just this API count that I display. So I actually changed this. This was too long. Um, this is, uh, so it's like API colon uh, API count. So that's what uh, is displayed. And it's going to sleep for 60 seconds, and then it's going to do this again while true. So it's just going to keep doing that. So the net result is when I plug this in, it's going to try and connect to my Wi-Fi. Once connected to my Wi-Fi successfully, it's every minute going to call my API and print out API and the count. And that's what you saw of a little screen does. So that's pretty neat. Uh, very simple. Um, uh, since this is uh, running MicroPython, you, you can almost do anything. So then, yeah, th this is the real cool part about this little thing. This is a 
complete standalone computer now. You saw me connected to my PC, but here I have a power bank. This is just a standard uh, power bank. Um, and uh, I'm just going to plug this little thing into the power bank. And um, you'll see that first thing it does is going to try and connect to my Wi-Fi, um, which it, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, the application, as we said, when it starts up, it waits a few seconds, uh, make sure it's alive, and then it connects to the Wi-Fi. You'll see it do that now. They had connected to the Wi-Fi, a little green, and there comes the API. So um, we've now had 114 searches on there. So, um, and this will just be updated. But the cool part about this is, you know, um, this is completely standalone now, meaning I can, in theory, just take this USB stick, just provide power to it from anything that provides power, and that has its own little computer inside that um, I don't need to, uh, you know, do anything else. It, whenever I plug it in, I give it power, it's just going to start connecting to my Wi-Fi and start showing me the count. And that's all it does. Of course, you can do a lot more with it, but um, I think that's so cool that um, you can uh, have a little standalone computer this size with a screen. Um, you know, later I can connect little things that makes LEDs go off and bells go off if it goes over a certain limit or whatever. But um, I think that is just so unbelievably cool that uh, this is literally Wi-Fi, um, and, uh, um, you know, calling APIs, everything, and a little stick. So that's my little pet project for the day.